Hello, this is a full comprehensive guide of charging and running the electric motor so that you can get to, you can charge the batteries and get propulsion. Um, so first things first, let's go over everything that is towards the front of the ship. Uh, we'll start from the front and work our way back. This is your circuit breaker across from the radio room um, for the port side. So if I shut it off, you can see all the lights turned off. And if your circuit blows, that's where you reset it. Over here is your voltage regulator for the starboard side. You can turn it all the way down uh, and that mitigates the lights because that is the light voltage mitigator. Here is your circuit breaker for the starboard side. Same as the port one. And back here is your uh, battery. And also, this is your voltage regulator for the port lights. You also have an auxiliary voltage regulator for other systems. I don't know what they are, but they exist probably. Um, so, I wouldn't mess with this one in particular. The lights you can mess with if you want, but you don't really need to. Uh, and like I said, you can just read the battery off of either side just by looking in there. So, let's get into it. First of all, I am going to teach you how to run the, uh, just run in propulsion. So, uh, let me go ahead and get the di one of the diesels running just so that we can uh, get it warmed up. And we will use the other one for, uh, for the demonstration. And we're going to need the diesels warmed up to charge the batteries, that's why I'm doing this. So, beautiful. That run should be good enough now. Beautiful. Okay. So, now that that diesel's running and warming up, we can look at this engine. So, your main settings, this is all the stuff you really need to worry about. Um, your motor power is here. This is how you turn everything on and off. Your motor direction is here. This is how you turn uh, the direction of travel. Um, and you need to have this in the same direction as your diesels when you're charging. So if you're going forward on the diesels, you want forward on the motor. Your starting resistor is automatically enabled whenever you uh, make a setting change so that the circuit doesn't immediately blow due to the voltage change and the uh, amperage change. It's just, uh, it just kind of burns up for a second so that it can take all of that without losing everything uh, and causing a circuit break. Uh, over here is your uh, battery switch and your motor switch. And you'll notice you have parallel and series and series and parallel. That is used with this little uh, guide up here to display your speed. So if you want to go dead slow, you'd have motor series, battery parallel. They always go left to right, even down here. Um, and then you'd want to have 60 RPMs, right? And uh, that's what those are used for. When you are charging, you want to have them both in uh, the right side, so fast, if you look down here. Um, and then, up here is your creep switch. Creep mode doesn't work right now correctly. However, what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to disable the starting resistor so that uh, when you are running at uh, dead, or dead slow, um, rigged for silent running, you would throw that creep switch on and you would have the correct settings set when you start the motor. And if you switch from forward to reverse, you won't make, uh, your propellers won't make nearly as much sound outside, is what I've heard. So, uh, currently doesn't function. Currently, if you try to switch from forward to reverse with creep mode on, you will simply uh, burn out, or you'll simply throw the circuit breaker. So, right now, um, don't. Uh, you can turn on creep mode if you want for simulation purposes when dead slow, but you'll need to turn it off if you're changing direction. Um, 
and also last switch this is voltage this is a bit confusing a lot of people think oh I want low voltage when I start up that way um, I am you know I'm not immediately putting a lot of load on the system and that's the opposite you want high voltage and the reason for that is because voltage and current are not the same um, so your amperage and your uh, voltage need to be balanced and by having really low volts you get pretty high amps so and that's that's what's going to immediately throw your circuit so you should generally start in high okay so let's get to the guide on how to function these things so first of all you're going to need to turn your motor power on and you're going to need to make sure that this port screw is decoupled this port screw is used for charging your batteries um, so it is if it is in there you're not going to get any propulsion then what you're going to do is you're going to go in, up into the diesel and make sure that the clutch is disengaged um, it doesn't make much of a difference if your clutch is engaged however it will make your uh, batteries have to work a little harder and you won't be able to attain full speed because they're working against the diesel crankshaft um, okay then what you're going to do is you are going to set up your battery and motor switch as desired um, so if you want dead slow half speed or great speed you can get all of those pretty fast by uh, putting the selected one so let's say I want to uh, go as fast as possible as fast as possible what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the fast setting high voltage and then I'm gonna throw it in the direction I want so let's go forward and you'll notice it still works uh, even if you're going straight from slow to fast okay so now what we can do is we can just turn off the motor if we want or we can ramp up the voltage slowly so that uh, what you want to keep an eye on mainly is this motor current if that yellow uh, hand reaches the red mark that's when you're in the danger zone for shutting off so let's go ahead and creep it up there we're creeping a bit slower now that we're reaching maximum and now we're at 300 which is the maximum full speed uh, setting for RPM so that's what I'm gonna leave it at you can technically go to like 305 304 in that area but uh, you're playing with the fire there and you don't really get any returns out of it so there's not really a reason to now important thing to note there's a couple of ways to turn uh, to turn off the motor direction and stuff what I recommend is that when you want to stop traveling you simply throw it off and that's going to just turn the motor off without any danger of you blowing a circuit if you do this while the motor's running and switch all the way to high thinking oh uh, switching all the way to low would blow my circuit but turning it to a lower setting on high so to speak would would uh, not blow my circuit you would be incorrect because this has a red line on the other side too so uh, you need to make uh, changes in voltage slowly in both directions okay and then if we want to switch to dead slow we can put both of these to the slow setting and then we can turn creep mode on for role play purposes and for hopefully future purposes and then we can turn the motor on and then if you do things wrong like I did somehow your circuit breaker will go off so let's go ahead and reset that run up here and let's see what I did I think what happened is that our shaft speed may have been too high still which is a possibility I wasn't paying attention to that if your uh, if your shaft speed is too high then it would cause issues but let's have a look up here it might just be the creep mode honestly it probably is uh, yeah it was the creep mode okay either that or the RPMs but I guess just don't use creep mode for now. I think if you turn it on now, we're fine. Yeah. Just don't use the creep mode, I guess. 
Hopefully it gets modeled in the future. Normally you should be able to have creep mode on with dead slow minimum RPMs uh, and the starting resistor isn't necessary, but that's not modeled right now. So, oh well. Uh, but now we're in dead slow and now what we can do is we can uh, we're in forward, so let's go ahead and just throttle up. Keep an eye on our motor current. It is nice and steady. And now we're running at max. Now what you can do is you can switch from the slow regime to the half speed regime by switching these switches. Right, and it always goes left to right. So you're gonna switch this one before you switch this one for the speed. Now, if I just switch the motor switch to parallel immediately, uh, we're gonna have the voltage in low and it's immediately going to uh, break the system and we're gonna have to reset the circuit breaker. So what I do is I throw it in parallel and quickly turn it all the way down, right? And that keeps it in a safe regime so that the motor doesn't overload uh, and it allows us to switch speeds without completely stopping the motor. Um, keep in mind that the motor direction, it's pretty fast to switch forward and back. So if you are running, oh, unless you do that, don't do that. Um, you do have to turn it off first and then. But it's a lot faster than the diesels. The diesels, you have to power them off and repower them. So, did I change the settings? I think I did. Yep, we haven't, we haven't blown anything yet. So, no, I didn't, but it's booting up on, uh, on, a, on good settings. So now we're going to stern just fine. So yeah, just uh, you do have to uh, turn it off. Let your, RP, your shaft rotation go down, because we're still on a stern, and then you can turn it forward and do that safely. I thought you could just switch it, but I am wrong about that. So anyways, let's go ahead and shut down this engine and let's get talking about how to recharge your batteries. Now that we've used a little bit of charge, uh, you can see we're at about 8.6 uh, kilowatt hours. So. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get this engine charging for us. So, of course you need diesels. You are going to run them on minimum RPMs. Uh, and we've got enough temperature that, we, that we're running it safely, so that's good. Um, then what you're going to do is you're going to throw down your screw. And uh, the important thing to note here is that right now it's not modeled but you can engage that screw while the shaft is spinning at full speed. You don't want to do that. Uh, that would normally cause damage. However, right now, it's not modeled. So just keep that in mind for future updates. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to get set up on this one. You're going to put it in the same direction of travel as your diesels, or your diesels are forward. You are going to set these, or sorry, don't switch the motor direction yet. You're going to set these both on fast, on the right setting and you're going to lower the voltage all the way down and then these are the two volt the two gauges that are going to be important here okay so let's go ahead and get the diesel engaged so now that the clutch is engaged we are actively trying to spin this and the screw is stopping us from spinning it so that is where our energy is coming from right now is from that resistance so, so to speak so we're not getting propulsion anymore out of the diesel now where we weren't before because the clutch wasn't engaged but if it was engaged without the screw we'd be getting propulsion now we're getting charged and you can see that the motor voltage and the battery voltage are lining up pretty well and we want those to be as close as possible so let's go ahead and throw the voltage a bit more, just a little bit more. It doesn't need to be this close, but I'm a perfectionist. And there we go. So now we got we got them reasonably close and on the ball. So now what we can do is we can throw the motor direction and forward, and that is going to give us 
are uh, are charging essentially this is the charging setting for the electric motor this is your actual charge and you'll notice it has discharge on this side and charge over here and we're not charging yet and the reason for that is because we don't have enough rpms on the shaft to actually charge so what we're going to do is we're going to look up here at this e-motor current and we are going to throttle up so that that e-motor current goes up and we're going to the maximum you should ever throttle this is to about right there uh, you don't want to get too close to the red line however i'm going to leave it a bit low because my engines aren't very warm right now and as the engines warm up that we will get more output of the diesels and thus more charge so if you go over that red line just from the diesel heat it will still throw your brake so now if we come back here you will notice that the battery is correctly charging um, and if you come back here and you watch the grass grow actually it's already charged quite a bit um, we've actually charged maximum it doesn't actually go up to 12,000 that's like an overcharge rate. Um, so now we're charged nice and beautifully and we can stop charging um, we can throttle down the diesels and uh, we're ready to dive and everything. So, uh, that should be about it for the tutorial. Uh, Keeping two little disclaimers about the charging. Um, there, uh, I, this, this method of charging uh, was not developed by me. I don't claim credit for it. I'm just displaying it because there's no overall guide for this room out yet. Um, however, I don't know who originally made it, so uh, it's, I believe this one is historically accurate, so I'm going to say some German engineer made it, but I don't really know, so sorry I can't give credit out appropriately uh, to those who researched all of this, but uh, I do not know. So if you know who they are, leave them down in the comment. And then another thing to note is that uh, there is a method currently in this uh, in this version of running the diesels getting propulsion and charging your batteries all at the same time which uh, appears to be a bug from everything i've heard i don't know it so and it probably will be patched out by the time this is released so i'm not going to teach it here but it does exist so if you want to learn that i'm sure you can find resources to learn how to run the diesel and charge the battery at the same time um, which you can normally do with simplified engines. Uh, so, yeah, I hope you... Oh, also one thing I didn't go over. Uh, this is where you'll get all your commands. So make sure you respond to them in a timely manner. Um, and this is how you would actually get commands from the help for both engines. So, yeah. Um, that should be everything covered. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope this helps. Um, let's go ahead and stop charging and call it good. <laughs>